Hey, everybody. Welcome. Welcome one and welcome all to a random playthrough that I'm going to do. Uh, we're not going to do this live on stream. We're just going to record this on my own time. But it's called Adventures of Pip. This one, I've kind of wanted to play this game for quite a long time. It's been out for several years now. Um, it's kind of been on my backlog to-do list. Then it was on my Steam backlog for a couple years now. Thanks to our boy Dragon Knife, he actually bought me this game on Steam off of my wish list a couple years ago, or at least over a year ago for sure. Um, it's a pretty relatively cheap game in general, and I think he bought it for me when it was on sale. Um, but I just, you know, I, I never really got around to playing it yet, and as you know, I like to get around to the games that people buy for me. And this one, I don't think there's a lot of big interest for me to do this as like a stream game. But of course I, you know, I like to record everything that I play these days and try to do commentary over it. So, regardless of that, we're going to do a little offline playthrough here of Adventures of Pip. You know, my old Let's Play style type stuff. So I'm pretty excited about it. Uh, what kind of game is this? It's kind of a puzzly platformer game, as you can kind of see from this title screen. You'll see the main character in the middle. I believe that is Pip. But on the right side, you see the same character, but he's kind of pixely. I think that's the basic idea of this game. There's some platforming going on, but you kind of go in between different graphical styles. Where you go from like 8-bit to 16-bit to full-on rendered sprites. You know, that look like the one in the middle that's smoothed out. I don't know if that's exactly the best way to describe it, but I do know that it's a puzzle platformer built around those mechanics with some action-based stuff because he does wield a sword and all that. So, yeah, that's all I really know about the game. I did watch a little bit of this game back when it was a newer game, so that's the only reason I'm even aware of it in the first place. Uh, yeah, I haven't recorded anything for a couple weeks now since I've been on vacation, and I just decided, you know what, I'm just going to record this right now while I have some time, bring downtime from work from home, and uh, yeah, let's do it. I'm just trying to get through this backlog of games that I got that people have given me, and I just decided, you know what, we're starting with this one, because I've had this one for a long time. Obviously, I haven't played the game yet. Here you go. Let's start it up. And I already checked the settings. The only options in there are, are volume. I already turned the volume down for the game a little bit because the music, very loud. Let's start a new game. <sighs> Once upon a time, there existed a kingdom that could fit in the palm of your hand. Interesting. Like other kingdoms, those who had more pixels lived in luxury. The rest lived humble lives. I see. More pixels equals rich AF. Legend has it, the kingdom was once saved by a princess who created pixels from nothingness. Okay. One day, Princess Adeline was born with such an ability. This brought joy, but also worry. Because the rich people are like, nah, dude, don't be making more poor people. For in the darkness, the Queen Derezia, who wanted to harness such power, Derezia, what a name. Prepare for Derez. That's a Tron thing. On Adeline's 16th birthday, Queen Derezia attacked and absorbed all the pixels. Oh no! Yeah. Queen Derezia kidnapped the princess as all watched helplessly in terror, except one. Is his name Pip? His name was Pip! His name was Pip. Born a single pixel, he had nothing to fear. This is where his story begins. Even better, we actually are one pixel to start. That's actually kind of cool. I didn't realize he started as one pixel. That's Nino. Pip! Pip! Get up, you lazy doorstop! Matilda, trying to wake up Pip. Okay, well, here we are. Like, like any good uh, RPG game, we start in a bed that we wake up in. And we literally are a one pixel freaking dude. Alright, well, let's do this. Didn't you just feel that shaking? Good thing you're not a ball or you'd be on the floor. It sounded like it came from the castle. I bet Queen Derezia is back. Get out there and find out what's up. And uh, give me something to eat on the way back. Sure, what do you want? Uh, Wendy's? Yes, press A to jump. We got it. Um, yeah, well, as you can see, platformer. And we're a freaking square. Kind of reminds me of um, Thomas Was Alone a little bit. Just the fact that I'm a square jumping around. Ooh, I got 20 whatever that is. I guess that's money or whatever. Some kind of currency. Like coins in Mario. Hold A to jump farther. We Oh, you close. I see. Hold A to float. Got it. Okay. 
hold A to... Ba oh, you can bounce off the enemy. Okay. Ooh. Oh, that's pretty neat. I'm guessing that's a heal heart, if I can pick it up. The one that landed on the spike there. Oh, God. We run... Oh, God. Oh, God. Please don't. Please don't crash me. Okay, we're we're one pixel tall. We're fine. Everything's we're safe. Everything's sympatico here. Man, these graphics though. You guys are fucking impressed yet? Hey there, Pip Squeak. How's it happen? Get it? Cause your name's Pip. And, you, never mind. You should go find the guards and let them know all these skulls about all these skull squids. Is that what these things are? Skull squids? We ooh, chicken. Look at the chicken. Worth picking up the chicken, but I want Zamani's. Okay, we should have bounced off those guys. That's my bad. We all because I wanted the chicken and Zamani's. I also don't know if items disappear after they sit there too. They definitely do. Never mind. They answered that question. Oh, these people aren't as pixely. Well, well. Is that any way to greet a lady of my resolution? No need to get up. I'll see myself out. I'm done here anyway. It was unwise to try and hide Princess Adeline from me. Now that I have her powers, I control the bitstream and its limitless energy. Observe. No, not the bitstream. Oh, damn, get wrecked. What? You don't know about the bitstream? That life energy that flows all around us? Try to keep up. Soon the entire kingdom will be nothing but scattered pixels. Oh, but I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's start small by reducing each of you into a single pixel. <laughs> No, not King and Queen Pixel. Ah, that felt good. Do you enjoy my handiwork? King Blockhead and his square little queen. Perhaps we can write letters on your sides and a small child can stack you. <laughs> queen Derezia, out. Feels good to record again. What is your name, young Pixel? Pip. Please run and find a uh, hero to save my daughter. What if I am that hero? Okay. What are you doing? Still doing here. Go find a hero. Find someone more brave and capable than you and I. Go! Please excuse the king's temper. He's been playing flexible long before any spell took his limbs. Queen Derezzi has taken my precious daughter to her castle. Oh, if only Sir Chad were here to rescue her. Sir fucking Chad. Get the hell out of here. I'm here, bitch. Who needs Chad when you got a pip? Wait. Is there somebody hiding behind here? It looks like... Doesn't it look like there's feet underneath this... Like, behind... This curtain doesn't it look like there's feet? This looks. Like it. I think it's probably just the stand that this flag is sitting on again. Is that a checkpoint? That must be a checkpoint. Run, people, run! Run for your lives! Zerezi is here to burn it all down. Damn, she's just reducing bitches to pixels, yo. Lucky for me, I already done been a pixel. Think I'm scared. Keep moving, you rhombus. That crazy Queen Derezia is tearing the town to blocks. So I saw him. So I saw him. Give me all the muns. Give me all the muns. It's definitely some intense music for us one pixel walking across the map. Alright, y'all. I guess we got through the first part, and now we're on to the actual first level of the game. Forest 1 1. So this is a platformer game level based. I didn't realize it was level based. That's actually A-OK -okay with me. What kind of options do we have? Just music, right? Okay. Just check. Alright, well, you guys ready for the actual beginning of the game? Forest 1-1? One, one? How very platformy Mario is. Let's do this. Here we go. Boing. Boing. Ooh, money. I mean, I'm guessing that's money. I really don't know what it's for yet, but hopefully it's worth my time. Oops, well that was no bueno. Gotta be a little more careful there, Pip Pip Cheerio. Thanks for saving me. Many more of us have run off from the castle. Please help find others. Okay, I guess I saved them by talking to them. Good for me. I saved a person. Woot. Oh shit, dude. Ah shit, dude. Small pathetic cube. Why do you pursue me? Surely you understand my power. And you do this for the king, for your king, one who might use you as a footstool, or prop open or to prop open a door. Soon I will fix this cruel world by making everyone the same resolution. Except for me, of course. A girl's gotta look her most high death. 
Now we go. No. Into the hole we go. No. Pip. Pip. Cheerio. So there's some kind of ghost trying to talk to me? That looked like a ghost to me. I'm digging this like intense music so far. Oh, hello there. I didn't notice you. Thought perhaps you were a tree star. Allow me to introduce myself. I am formerly Sir Elvin, a brave and noble knight. I protected our kingdom from the treachery of these dark woods for many years. Until these filthy beetles took the land and with it by life. Back, filthy beetle. But enough about me. You, Pip. You are the hero foretold in the ancient prophecies. Only you can restore order to the land. And with that order, finally free me to my afterlife. But to accomplish that, you first need my gift. Put out your hands. Ha! Sorry, I forgot. I bestow upon you, Pip, the power of the bitch stream. With this, you can evolve and gain new abilities. Yeah. Okay. 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 Now we're a little boy with pixel powers. Ooh, and we can punch. Okay, if I press, I pressed and held B, and I turned into the block again. How do I go back into being a boy? Though? I'm confused. What if I don't want to be a boy block anymore? What if I want to be a boy again? How do I do it? I fucked up, guys. I fucked up. Pip, do you see that creature? The one that looks like it ate a light bulb? Well, it's actually glowing because it's connected to the bit stream. Defeat these glowing beasts to absorb their pixels and evolve into new forms and abilities. It just might help you to get out of this sticky situation, or a spiky one, or a lava you one. Be there. You got it, dude. Nope. Okay. Alright. Ooh, we can wall jump. Yo, alright. Is it safe to return to town? Oh, excellent. I can reopen my shop. This is what we need, Mr. Shopman. That's probably where we're gonna use our moves. Oh, does he hang on the edge, too? Yo. Wall jumps and wall hangs? Don't mind if I do. Nice. Oh, shit. Secrets, too. Let's go. Yo, I'm a secret finding master. I just wanted to try my punch out there. Hmm, I wonder if there's a secret up here. We're gonna check. I'm telling you, man, I'm a secret finding fool. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm talking about. Secret finding fool. Yes! The, I was wondering if we were gonna come back and grab this. Uh, it's just a bunch of money. I mean, I don't really know if that's a bad thing. And I'm guessing now that I've now that I'm paying attention to the top of the screen, there's you see there's two uh, right above where I'm standing right now. There's two green little faces, and there's a third one we haven't gotten yet. I'm thinking those are villagers in the area that we haven't saved. Also, what happens when I die? I'm about to die. I don't want to die, but I'm about to. Maybe there will be a checkpoint where I can actually pick up some heals, motherfucker. That definitely looks like a checkpoint. Give me full health, so hell yeah. Ooh, more secrets. Like it, liking it, loving it. Get some. Okay. More monies. I guess if I accidentally go back to being a pixel, that's what these enemies keep respawning for, so you can keep returning back into punchy pit. Punchy pixel pit. Wall jump master. Master. That's what they call me. Oh, there's a secret there. I was wondering. This part of me thought there might be. I don't know why. Oh, Trump Master. Oh, yeah. Punch that tree or punch that bush. Hold L trigger or B to turn back into a pixel, which we're going to have to because I can't fit through here. That makes sense. See what I mean about this being a puzzle platformer? You guys understand now? In case you were wondering if you if you had any any reason to believe that it wouldn't be such, such a game. Alright, check this shit out. Booyah! Let's go. We're gonna go over here, and I think there's a villager over here to save. I'm assuming that's a villager that's all pixely right now. It is. She couldn't even speak, but she was happy to be saved regardless. We are rolling in money right now, too. 530? I don't even know how much that actually is. I'll have to go back and check out this whole shop situation as soon as we're done with this level. There we go. 
Just gotta work on your triangle jump skills. Don't mind me. Is this the end of the first level finally? Ahoy, Pip. Still alive, I see. Well, that's fantastic. What you're looking at is a conduit. These allow you to teleport to any previously visited areas. Perfect for bathroom breaks. Do you need to use the bathroom? No? Okay. Try teleporting back to town and visit the merchant. His words will surely help you on your journey. Well, thanks for telling me, bro. Seeing as how I was literally going to do that anyways. I mean, I think the main thing here is that means the stage is complete. And we got our first achievement. Hide and seek. We saved all three of the villagers. Got a perfect. Can't hate on a perfect. I'm not going to vow to get 100% on this game right now, but if saving villagers is what makes the game 100%, I'm going to be very tempted to do so. Right, let's go back to the village and check out this whole merchant situation because I'm quite curious to see what I can buy with the monies. Thanks for trying to save the world, Pip. Want to buy some? Hell yeah, I do. When I got loads of things for sale, what you got? He's got a potion. I don't have enough money for most of this. Auto potion. So you have to use this one, but this one's auto. Villager detector. One-time use detector. Pip gets alerted when a villager is hidden in a room. I might grab that. I don't know. Maybe. Treasure detector. Treasure's hidden everywhere with this one-time use detector. Pip, use starts. Pip gets alerted when he's near a treasure chest. Ooh. These are both tempting. Come temporarily invincible. Conjure a burning ring of fire to destroy enemies in your path for a limited time. So, like, a fireball power-up, I guess. Ah, and this is a permanent health upgrade, which is probably what we really want to spend on. So I'm probably going to just save my money for this. Unless I start having trouble surviving on a level, there's no reason to get any of this other stuff. I think early on we don't need villager detectors either. I think I'm going to feel... I'm just going to have faith in my own, you know, explorational abilities and the fact that I can probably find the villagers early on in the game. Maybe later, if it gets a little more complicated, I'll start using the Villager Detector. But early on in the first world, 1-2, I don't think we're going to need that shit. So we'll just save up for health upgrades for now. Let's do this. Let's do. Pip is ready to fuck you up, son. Boo. Give me all your money. Well, this is hardly fair. Look at these blocks, right in your way. Queen Derezia is quite the cheat. Thankfully, they appear to be made of pure bitstream energy, and not stone. Stone would be a problem. Approach these blocks, Pip, then devolve. Your unleashed energy should be enough to destroy them. Unless they're made of stone, I really hope they're not made of stone. Okay, so I guess these, these blocks that are all purple and shiny can be destroyed by me turning back into a pixel. Okay, noted. I just wanted to see if there's a secret down here. Hold on. Always good to check. Aha! Okay, cool, cool. Is it worth it to go back and get... Oh, okay, I can drop here. I'd say it's worth it so we can go up here and get this other treasure. Can't... Oh, wait, it would be worth it if I could fucking get through. Never mind, I have to come back. I have to, yeah, okay. So we have to, we'll have to get a power up here soon, I'm sure, just to move around, so there we go. Trixie Dixie, baby. Trixie Dixie. No villagers yet, though. So one thing that... Um, another reason why I, don't, I didn't feel compelled to like make this a full stream, you know, stream-worthy playthrough is because this game, from what I know, is actually really short. I don't know how short it actually is until we play it ourselves and if I spend time talking and taking my sweet-ass time on certain things. I knew there was going to be a secret there. Um, then you know, playthroughs always take longer than what the uh, what the average playthrough might be of a, of a game. But in general, especially with platforming games, I'm pretty good about plowing through them if I get on a good roll and it's not too difficult. So I have faith in my platforming abilities and all that jazz to hopefully perform well on this playthrough and not take more than what a normal average playthrough should take. Thus, this should be a short playthrough is kind of what I'm getting at here. Press X to punch. Ah, right. Okay. That's noted. What does it say? Oh, down X. Ah, I didn't even know you could do that. That was new. Secrets. Right, so far, we found one village. Ah. Come to 
Is there, was there something back here? I already blew that up. So no, there's nothing else back here. Alright, let's go up here first. Let's punch the fucking mine. Well done. If I go like this, that's good. There's something up here. If I should go down there first. Either way, we'll figure it out. There's a villager up here. This is worth it. Alright, two villagers saved. Is there a reason to go... Like, is there a reason to follow the path down there? I don't see another villager down there. Can I even go back this way? Oh, yeah. Toads can't. Oh, wait. Toads can't. Toads are wrong. Incorrect, sir. Do not pass go. Do not go back that way. Please. You cannot. It is not allowed. I don't see anything else down there, though. So unless there's a secret path that leads to a villager or something. Let's see what's over here. There's a checkpoint. Um, you know, let's hit up the checkpoint. It seems like I can go back this way, right? I just want to make sure, man. Oh, I can't even. Huh. I'm already like, is that really how this is going to go? Huh. find that to be highly questionable. Unless I can go... I don't think I can go through there. No, totally can't. Okay, well, maybe it's one of those level. Maybe it's the kind of thing where I have to like go through the level twice. That'd be annoying if that's the case. Dude, press the right button. Thank you. Jesus. Here's your floatiness and stuff. Well, if I find the third villager, then I won't worry about it at all. Let's just put it down. If the third villager is found by the wall, then we know we didn't miss it. Yeah, we found the third villager already. We're good. If anything, I just I picked the right way to go first time around, and I got all the villagers, so... Say I'm proud of myself and uh, move on with my life. Because if I get a perfect at the end of the level, we know we did it right. I'm sure getting all the treasure chests has nothing to do with getting a perfect. If all the treasure chests just happen to be, you know, more currency. This looks like the end of the level already. We done, boys. We done. Stage clear. Bat. Bat. Perfect. All right. Proof that I don't have to do that level again. Bitchin'. Well, until I get to 2,000 monies, or until something else happens back in town, I'm just gonna keep pressing forward onto 1 3. Because we do not have 2k monies yet for the first heart upgrade. So, again, unless something else pops up back in town for like a reason to go back there. Oh, we can bounce off of shrooms? I see. I see. Oh, the pixel jumps higher. Ah. Okay, I didn't notice that it showed it showed the pixel there. Okay, so the pixel jumps off of shrooms higher than regular pixels. Okay, I noted. That's actually pretty neat. Okay, found our first villager. Good stuff. And we move on. There's no secret, like, wall there, right? There's not gonna be one up there. There's, like, one here, no? Okay. Probably not one up there, either. We wouldn't be able to get up here without the block. Without pixel, without pixel pit. Mm, pixel pit. I swear, every time I see one of those blocks in the wall, where it's, like, it's a flower, to hold down the float, my bad. I fucked up. Secrets. I had a feeling. I had a feeling. 
there was gonna be a secret. Sorry, my nose is running a little bit, so I gotta wipe it. Don't mind me and my distraction. Only one, found one villager so far, which... Oops. Careful. Don't murder me. Uh, found one villager. I do not like. Far so good. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. choice here at this point. I haven't gotten a lot of money on this level so far. I, had, I think when I started this level I had 900. Slim thick pit. Slim thick pit. <laughs> Slim thick. Oh, <laughs> uh, good times. Okay, wait, hold up. Do I need to be? I probably need to be. Yeah. Hold up, though. I feel like there's something down here. Is it just me? It feels like there's something down there, doesn't it? I guess it's just a background, like, flower thing. I don't know. It's weird. It's so sh it's so weird. It's so weird to me. It's so weird. Actually missed the villager on the third level. Line. That makes me sad. It does make me wonder if you find them in order, or like it didn't mark the third one, 
Well, I might just cut that attempt out because I didn't find the other villager. I really looked around. I don't know. Maybe there's something I'm missing. Maybe there's some ability I'm missing. I really don't know. I'll just have to come back to that one if I want to get 100%. For now, I'm not going to worry about it. I'm just going to move on to 1 4, shall we? 1 dash bow, here we go. Upside, four sides. Hero coming through. Oh, God. Here's Chad. Fucking Chad. What are you doing here anyway? This forest is no place for a low red civilian like you. What? You think you can save the princess? <laughs> oh, you're serious. Let me give you some advice, Boxy. Nobody likes a square peg in a round hole. What do they like a. You know what? Never mind. <laughs> I don't really know where I was going to go with that joke. Better to just say fuck it. <laughs> Alright, there's definitely something up there, and I don't think I can get there now when I look in here. So hold up. Let me see if I can bounce, respawn this guy and bounce off of him to get up there. Thank you. And what's over here? Just doing treasure, but hey, I need the money. We're working on getting to that 2k point so we can actually afford that health upgrade that we don't really need quite yet, but hey, less often BPs, always good. It's always nice to beat less, you know? Is there any reason to drop down this way? Probably not. I wonder if there's any reason to jump to the left from here. Can we try it? No. Absolutely not. Absolutely zero reason. Absolute zero. Alright, for now, Pip shall continue his adventure. Ah! We need to get our upgrade so we can punch down through there. Key up! Nice. Looking triangle jump skill. I feel like I'm running faster than I did before. Key up! Key up! Oh, didn't mean to bump into you, my bad. Oh, those are shooting out fireballs that I didn't expect. At this point, we're definitely checking every fucking wall ever. Hmm. So, like, for secrets. For humans to save. Okay, can't wall jump off the slippery wall. Noted. Jump up high off the wall to get it where you need to get. Mm -hmm. Ooh, secret. Ooh, villager. Got him. That guy looks jolly and fat. I wonder if he's special. Either way, we found him. And again, I don't know if that's actually the first villager to find in the level. Until I find villagers out of order one of these days, I'm just going to assume I'm finding them in the right order. I don't remember to hold down the jump button Mario style to bounce off enemies better. Cause that sometimes I just bounce thinking it's just gonna do it, and I gotta fucking press it. Alright, there's villager number two. Easy peasy. I got you. Right. Checkpoints. The good thing is, at some point, you know, your boy's got to get a little better, uh, good enough at the game to actually, like, or we're getting good enough at the game, rather, to, like, actually go through the level quickly. Unless I'm spending time going back to a level like I did a minute ago. Apple. I'm going to assume there's not something down here. I'm going to kill myself looking for nothing, you know? Ugh. Bro. Also, what the? Did you see that fucking jump I just did? Fucking. I'm grossly overestimating how powerful my jump is as Pip. As Boy Pip versus Pixel Pip. Speaking of pixel fit, that's what we need right here. That would have 
grossly saved my life. Grossly. Okay, grab. I can wall jump up to that one. Question is, should I bother? Oh yeah, there's a villager right there, y'all. Last villager. Damn it. I thought it went all the way across the room. I was wrong. Yo! Oh no! This game controls really well, I have to admit. Like, the platforming on it is really, really good. Like, you can move back and forth in midair very smoothly. Not all platforming games have quite as smooth of controls as this does, but goddamn, this one do. I wonder if I should just go pixel mode. Through much more efficiently, at least. Well, maybe. If I can time shit correctly. Solve that shit. Ugh. And now I have to make sure I land on the mushy. No! Damn it. So now that we have all the villagers on this level, though, we just gotta get rid of the rest. Whatever that means. Whatever that may mean. Got it. We out of here. Let's go. One dash foe at the door. We out. Ooh. Hell yeah. Got all the villagers. Got some monies. Got a perfecto. I feel good about it. I feel good about it. I'm guessing this dark green part of the forest, we have three more, four more levels total. 1-8 may be the final level in this Area 1 forest, you know? So let's go to 1-5, shall we? 1-5. Boom, 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 boom. We don't need that. We ain't need that. We ain't need it. Ain't no we don't. Uh, ain't no need it. Ugh. Sorry for the burp in your ears, but had to happen. Is there any reason to fly over there and kill that thing? Probably not. Okay. Oh, did it move on its own? Toasted. I thought it was something I activated by standing on it. Toast moved on its own. Um, probably should have got my pit, pit, pit cheerio ability before I let the back one go back. Dude! Well, that's not what you want to see. I like how the music doesn't even fucking skip a goddamn beat when you die. It just keeps on rolling. You didn't die. Even though you totes did. Just looking for villagers, and that is all we want to find you. Oh no, this was a bad idea! Shit. I'm an idiot. So I thought I could catch it. I was wrong. I'm sorry. I'm such a failure as a human being. I'm so sorry for being me. I just run him do that thing. It's no bueno. Again, I grabbed the treasure first. I should have went for the thing first. Oh, freaking well. Alright, here we go. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah. Oh, well, that was a bad choice. As most of my choices tend to be. Horrible choice. So should I blow this up and then come back over here as Big Pip Pip Cheerio? I'm gonna do that. 
There's actually a combo. If you press punch, punch, he actually does a kick. Nope. Also, I don't think I can get this through here like I thought I could. Well, I really wanted to check that wall to see if there was something there. I need help right now. I also haven't found one village. Huh? Thanks for getting rid of the BBs. All right, well, if I find a villager in this level, we'll know if we missed one. If it does the order thing that I'm hoping this game does. To know if you've missed something. That would be a very helpful thing. Damn it. Piece of garbage. Oh, come on. How did I fall through that? Oh, come on. Come on, man. Don't be... Don't play with me, game. Oh, no. Damn it. I should have made that. There's definitely going to be a villager or something up there. Let's make it happen. Make sure you hold the freaking jump button down, idiot. All right. Our first find, villager find on this level. Hopefully it's the first actual villager. Again, I don't know if that's the case yet, but I'm hoping so. So let's go down this way. <gasps> there was a chest. Oh, man. I didn't... Oh, man. I didn't know. I didn't know. Fuck off with your bullet hell bullshit, mine, mine, mine. Jesus. Okay. I won't listen to that dang, dang treasure, bruh. Oh wow, two whole dots. Go fuck yourself. Can we get a fucking refill on the checkpoint here? I wish. Drop some health, bitch. Things not dropping anything because that's annoying. Oh, go eat all of it. All of it. Go eat it all. I don't even want to go back and get that big treasure chest now just because I'm annoyed. The villager still uh, stays unlocked even if you die. That's interesting. I'm certainly not complaining about that. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Well, we have our first villager, so that's hopefully a good thing. For now, we ride. Apple, 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 ap
That's a very interesting choice. I'm not complaining. I'm just surprised by that choice. But either way, whatever, I do what I want. And what I want, what I wanted was to get my money back or whatever to get my shit back. So what do you Anyway, the level's probably almost over now. Just gotta go through whatever this is. This looks fun. Oh, that was a horrible choice. Horrible choice! Okay, well, you know what? Now I really don't care about my money. I know I'm missing out on like a hundred, almost a hundred worth of, of, of the coin, of the, of the stuff, but you know what? I truly don't care. It doesn't cost any, it doesn't count anything toward getting a perfect, and I really don't care. All I care about is the villagers for the perfect, right? So that's all I care about. So in that case, let's just not be a dumb. Big treasure. Woo, smart. I'm gonna say smart. I'm gonna jump. Oh god, okay. It ended there. I thought I was gonna follow the ceiling and crush my life. Alright, level's over, y'all. 1 5. In the bank. And perfection. Also in the bank. Feeling good about it. Alright. I'm gonna meet you back in 1 3 real quick. I'm gonna get this person. I know where it is now. Okay, so we're back here in 1 3, and this is the fucking thing I'm an idiot about. Boom. That's all I had to do. And there's the last villager. But a little bit of a puzzle. Basically, you just gotta jump across, it looks like. And the last villager on 1-3 is now found. Woot. I'm, I'm hype. Now, I don't know if I have to finish the level to keep my perfect status. I probably do, I would guess. So, let's just go finish the level real quick and see if I got that perfect. Even though I know I got it now, but like, you know what I mean. You know what I'm saying. You know what I mean. You know what I'm doing. I'm in no rush or hurry or I'm not gonna waste time is what I'm trying to say doing anything else. I'm just trying to get to the end, so I'm not getting any of the extra treasure chests. I did get a little bit of extra money going through the level, but not much. I didn't even get to 2,000, even though I totally could have had I actually tried to. Hold on. There we go. And done. Give me my perfect and let's move on. Hopefully I remember to cut some of that stuff out from earlier. Hope I remember. Because I really don't need to keep it. Alright. 1-3. We've now perfected all the levels so far. 1-6. We're on it. Be on it. I be on it. Oh, not I be on it. Day straight up. Pimp. If you want me, you can beat another level. I wonder how many worlds this game has. Because, I mean, I've already been playing for... Almost an hour, a little bit less, but almost an hour total. And I haven't even finished World 1 yet. And again, I have gone back to trying 100%. I've taken my time kind of a little bit. But even then, it still feels like... Huh. I don't know if it was worth going around that way or not. Oh. 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 Um. What was I going to say? I forgot what I was going to say. I'm totally gonna say something. Completely, just my mind decided to stop thinking. Um, I don't know. Either this game is really, sh you know, I don't know if each world should take me like an hour, or if each world should take longer than that, shorter than that, or if I'm just taking forever. I don't know. What I do know is here's our first villager on this level. Oh, no triangle jump over there, huh? Next village is right there. Okay. Work on getting her then. And done. Heals? Damn it, I need heals right now. If I die. Well, if I die, it's not the worst case because I can. Or I don't lose my villager grabs, so it's okay. But it would be nice to not have to go back and do more platforming. There's a checkpoint. Me likey that. We have enough money for that heart upgrade. I might go grab it before I head on to the next level. And maybe possibly see if there's anything else going on in the village. Now, idiot. Forgot to hold down that dang A button. 
that dang jump button. And it is the A button for me. I am playing with an Xbox controller. I don't know if I mentioned that. I am playing this game with a controller. It is a platforming game. You know me. I'm playing a platforming game. I really don't want to have to play with anything but a controller. Especially one that has precise controls like this game does. You definitely want to use a controller if you're a platform guy. Platforming guy. Gamer. Platforming console gamer like myself. And luckily this game has that compatibility. Damn it. Damn it. Stop being such a pussy, pussy ass bitch. Pussy ass bitch. Give me your money. Oh my god, I want your money. Your money tastes so good. The question is, did I miss the other villager? Where, where would it have been along the way here? I don't know. That's the end of the level. Hey, there he is. Well then. That was not what I expected to find there, but hey, I'm not complaining. Like, I wasn't expecting to find him down there like that. That's all I'm trying to say. But hey, you'll hear no complaints out of this boy. Dude, why are you fall so fast? I can't even get over there, you bitch. Just gotta jump, jump. The house is jumping. Jump, jump. The house is jumping. And we're out of here. All right. Well done, guys. 1-6 perfected. Feeling good. Feeling proud. All right. Oh, yeah. All right. And I am going to go back and get that hot upgrade, because why not? I'm wondering if the final level of worlds, which in this case is probably going to be 1-8, if, if my assumptions are all correct, is going to be a boss fight, or like a castle level. You know, something like Bowser, a Bowser level castle, you know? We'll see. But for now, you got things, I want things. In fact, I want this thing. Hell yeah. Yo, I got two achievements for that. Get a life and thank you, come again. Probably just for buying our first item, but also for buying a heart piece. So two different achievements there. Can't believe I'm a pixel, it's so embarrassing. I'm seeing if there's any other people to talk to or any other things to do here. Taking up training to become a powerful warrior like you, Pip. Okay, so here's our overall stats. We've been playing for 55 minutes. We rescued 18 of a 108. Okay, so we're not even, well, we're almost a quarter of the way. Almost. So that's actually not bad. Almost a quarter. Like at 22. Uh, at 22, we'll, no, no, sorry. 25 plus 2. 27 will be a quarter of the way. So nine more villagers saved, and we'll be a quarter of the way through the game. So yeah. But already died nine times. Don't be afraid. Think about puppies, rainbows, and unicorns. All right. Queen on the hero town needs. Bring it out. Hello. Does anybody do anything? Or are they just all here because we saved them? I don't really want to go all the way back. Oh, you can't go any back further any than that anyways. So it don't matter. So it don't matter. No. Let's get the fuck out. Exit to map, please. Oh, wait. Oh, no. I kept my heart. Okay, I was about to say, no, not my heart. I guess it's safe as soon as you buy something. So All right, y'all. To Forest 1 7. Let's go. Now it's time to start switching between stuff willy nilly. You see this shit? Oh, God. I forgot to hold down the A button. Oh, God. I forgot to hold down the A button. I'm already fucking shit up. I'm sorry. I keep forgetting to hold down that dang A button to jump, man. I don't hang there. Oh, I just... Wait, what? Bruh. Bruh. There you go. Jesus. Give me my money. I need, I need cash. Where my money at? I need, I need game. Can I just say, it does feel good to be recording again in general, but it also feels good to be recording something like a Let's Play style where I don't have to worry about a stream. So if I need to like take a pause break or whatever for work-related purposes, 
you know, I could just do it. No, no weird, you know, real-time issues to deal with. You'll, I'll just cut it out and you'll never know the never is. I just haven't had a lot of time this year. After the initial stuff this year that I did where I did, like, um, my Doom playthroughs and that Fantasy Star playthrough. I mean, I had I had all these grandiose plans in my head of things I could do off you know off the screen, and I just didn't get around to any of it. And a lot of it was just like work-related stress and just not feeling like working or recording while working at certain times of, at just certain points this year, and then I kind of just went a long time without recording anything. And I'll tell you right now, as of this point in time, I'm recording this adventure's a pit playthrough. There has been a couple other playthroughs that I've. Uh, or at least one other playthrough in particular that I did start, but I just haven't, I don't know, I kind of wanted to finish the whole playthrough before I posted any of it. Like, I already have at least two videos for it. I think it's two, yeah. I had two videos already done and recorded, and, uh, well, I just haven't posted it at this point, so when I do finally end up posting it, it's going to be super late, like, super after the fact, but it won't matter. You know, you're going to be able to tell, I don't think. I don't know, maybe we'll be able to tell. At this point, I don't even remember what the hell I talked about during that playthrough. It's going to just kind of be a whole series of videos for the game, that I'm, the game in question, which I'm not going to reveal right now, but the point is, at some point I do want to come back to that and try to actually finish what I started. Another reason why I kind of burned out on <coughs> playing that game, the game I'm talking about, just because um, just kind of the type of game that is very repetitive. <coughs> so recording it all, you know, episode after episode, back to back to back every day. I did the first two episodes literally in the same sitting. And it kind of felt like taking a break after that. So, yeah. And sorry about me uh, coughing there. I, my throat got really dry there for a second. I kind of annoyed me. Okay, got rid of the enemy. I want to see if there's something up there. That's why I want to take my time. No. 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 No, 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 no. I did not like this. I did not appreciate this. All that work just to fuck it up. Don't you feel proud of me, Mom? I don't feel proud of me. I'm so sad of me, right, man? Yeah. I mean, for all I know, it's literally nothing up there, and it's just a waste of my fucking time, but I have to know. Look, I even made the jump. I just made the fucking jump like a pro. And, it didn't, and there was nothing. There was literally nothing. Wait till that motherfucker shoots one more time? tell when there's one in the wall if there's one of those little green lips, for sure. For sure. Okay, that's how you get back up if you need to. Should I go back up and get pixely pip, or regular pip, rather? I think I will. Just because we may or may not need a mine item, I'm not sure. Maybe for some secrets. Oh, um, definitely hanging for there. The last All right, easy peasy. No problem. Just had to bust a quick nut. You know. Wait. Just go. Fuck it. I don't care. I'm sure. I'm certain it's just, um, you know, more money anyway. So I'm not going to. I wasn't going to kill myself for it when I was already about to die. So fuck it, you know. This is the end of the level. I can hear the the stream to heaven in the background. Where were you when you jumped in the stream to heaven? I don't know, but I know that I'm done with this level. See you. All right, one seven. 
you can call that another per 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 perfect. See, si, senor. All right, y'all. The last level of World One. We have a good old one dash eight. Is it going to be a boss level, or is it just going to be a regular ass level? Let's find out together, shall we? And I'm assuming this is the end. I don't even know that it actually is. For all I know, that next space over is another forest level. I have no idea. definitely know there's something up there. I can tell. Is there an enemy up there that I could use to bounce off of? Totally was not. Huh. I'm actually tempted to kill myself real quick. Just so I can see if I can get up there. Well, the main thing is I don't know how I can get up there. I'm probably going to regret making this choice, but let's see. All in the name of just seeing, you know? Just checking. Stop rushing through shit. You need yourself killed, boy. Oops. Wait, how the hell? How the hell did I get back up last time? Oh, because I just jumped from here. Dude, the fuck, bruh, 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 bruh. How the hell did I do this last time? What the fuck? Is, okay, you know what? Just do everything. I'm going, I'm going the long way, boys. I'm going the long way, boys. Yeah. Okay. I see what to do. I see what to do. You go like this. There you go. Booyah. Was it worth it, though? Was there a villager? There is a villager up here. So, yes. Yes, it was worth it. Indeed. It was a worthwhile venture. Indeed it was. It was a worthwhile endeavor. Whoops. That was the wrong button. Whoopsie. Whoops. 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 Okay, can I get a checkpoint after this bitch? Because I'm dying. I really don't want to go back to the beginning. Alright, last building right there. Okay, so I found all the villagers pretty fast. This level's either really short or there's like a boss fight at the end or something. Check one. Woo! Hallelujah. Alright. Alright, well, this feels like we're gonna drop into something. Yep, it is gonna be like a boss fight. Alright. My, aren't you a persistent polygon? Is something helping you? Is someone helping you? Surely one as rectangular as yourself couldn't have made it this far alone. No matter, your occasional, your occasionally medium res migration ends here. Oh boy. Previously I gave you a glimpse of what I am capable of, now that I've taken the princess's power. It's time to show you the true extent of my abilities. <laughs> oh god. What, 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 what? 
goodbye, Pip. I consider us square now. Well, you are anyway. <laughs> oh boy. Boss Arena. Who we fight? Who we fight? Oh, that's a big bug. Okay. Well, too slow start. That's okay. Let's bounce off the stupid head or what? Oh my god, can I not run into every single fucking thing right now? Whatever, I deserve that death, that's fine. I'm definitely not complaining about that death. That was me just sucking complete ass. I got hit by every fucking thing. I'm assuming it doesn't matter if I'm pip or not. Let's just bounce. Yeah, okay, you can bounce off the head. Like, being regular pip doesn't even matter, man. Well, not yet, anyways. Maybe it will matter in the long run, I don't know. Got him! Definitely don't want to go down there. Them, them spikes is dangerous. I wonder if this is a one, two, three situation. Got him. It is a one, two, three situation. See ya, Queen Grub. See ya. Just watching this bitch die. Mwah ah uh ah. -uh. could totally leave before it died. Oh! Oh! It dropped a heart piece. Oh, that's bullshit. How was I supposed to know? That's bullshit. It dropped a fucking piece of heart. Oh my god. That's so dumb. I'm mad. I'm mad, y'all. That's gotta be the last forest level. I don't want to go back and fight that boss again. Man... Yeah, I am. Be right back. Okay, I killed the boss again. Drops a heart, and that's a full other heart container. Why in the blue hell do they make that so easily missable by opening the door after you beat the boss? Well, I was sure you'd been defeated, yet here you are. Excellent job not dying, Pip. Up ahead is the Maddening Marsh, but don't let the name intimidate you. It's really more of a swamp. Queen Derezia just passed through here. <coughs> Unfortunately, this is where my journey must end. Always be true to yourself, young Pixel, and do not forget what I taught you. Um, whatever that was. Sure, Sir Elwyn, sure. I'm guessing now that we got out of the forest, we're done with him. Either way, that's stupid. I get why they did that. They make it so you can do a three-heart run in this game. That is why they did that. But the fact that you can miss the cutscene if you don't pick up the heart, kind of lame. But that's fine. Whatever.